Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. Just about set to go now. Getting the nod in this one, Shohei Otani. What do you have on him? Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at-bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league, so if he's on, he has the ability to control the game, and guys aren't really going to get much to hit. Luis Robert now. The center fielder, Luis the 1-1 one -one is fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And now it's even up. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. First punch out of the game for Otani, and we all know Shohei brings a lot of talent to the field on both sides of the ball, but that splitter is perhaps his biggest weapon. Oh, hey. well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Do it for the White Sox, and now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Back after this on the show. Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming, because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. Fights it off, you'll see another. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. And now Taylor Ward. No one through. The 1-1. One, one. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there in the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And now batting Mike Trout. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. One, and we're still scoreless. New Eleven inning getting started. Aloy Jimenez now. Jimenez. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Next offering is outside. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Slings to first, one up, one down. Here is Yoan Moncada. Yoan. Three one is on the way and that's ball four. Andrew Vaughn now. And a one one. Nice stop the throw ring. He toss the second double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Back here at the ballpark bottom half of inning number two. So in now for the Angels Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's a 1-1. And that's through there for a strike. 
Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Got him. And that quickly, two away. Brandon Drury to the plate. 1-1 one, one now. Fly ball down the line. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that'll do it. All set for the start of the we inning. And now side. here is Yasmani Grandal. And now two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Next to hit, number 79. A little bit high, maybe. Three balls and a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. Here's Elvis Andrews. That one the other way. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. One, two, three. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Struck him out looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Falling behind two and one. That one ripped and puts the squeeze on that two down not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all not over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Right side hard hit. The throw to first and it's a one two three inning. And the Angels are gone in order. Still no score. And welcome back. Here's Tim Anderson. Here's a 1 1. They say it went. You know, one these ball. White Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's now, been now, true now, again today. And now it's Luis Robert. Robert. And the righty deals. Foul ball. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could be become dangerous 2 one now and yeah, there's the strike next pitch misses and the count is filled up Ben Intendi the former first round pick Golden Spikes Award winner payoff pitch swings over the splitter for strike three no runs no hits Back here at the ballpark, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Shohei Otani. And the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. This one's got a chance. Gone! 
A shot to left, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, it was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward, went down on strikes his first time through. This one in the air right field, number 79. Moving under this one, hauls it in, and there's one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Liner, base hit. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him in the... Trout on the move. And that one is lifted in the air. Benintendi moving under it. Squeezes it. Two away. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. in there three balls two strikes he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball downstairs and it misses ball four well he earned his trip to first right there it's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that and it's a real discipline as well he's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game and it paid off right there Next one misses, two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That's in there. That is strike two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Luis Rangifo waiting for a turn at the plate. Hit hard. That gets through. Here comes Trout flying around third. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and... There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Next offering upstairs. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage. Ready now for the fifth Leading inning. And yeah, the batter now, Aloy Jimenez. Yes. Aloy Jimenez. And the pitch. Strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. And the right hander deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. Next offering upstairs. That one fouled off. Got him looking. Two gone. 
Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. 2-2 Two -two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Down in order. Go the way. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Gior Shella steps in. Not your job. And a 1 2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. The wide to kick the pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The one two. Out to short, Anderson. Over to first. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Now back to the top of the lineup, Shohei Otani, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered here in this one. And the three-one. And it's fouled away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here comes a 3-2. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and no swing, says James Kingsley. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Seats. Throws over. Otani back in. Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself. And that is the inning. Top six. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Here's a one two. Caught him looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now the right fielder, number 79. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The pitch. And now two and one. The two on is high. Swing and a miss. Counts full three and two. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. To third. Rendon throw to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. The batter number one. Second Elvis eight. Andrews Elvis. digs in now. Andrews. That misses three the ball. zone. One. And now three balls and a strike. Tim Anderson to bat next. Good plate three appearance three there. Four. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So the batting order turns over. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball.
There's your strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Makes the grab on the run. And that is the inning. So he's through six no-hit innings now. Welcome back. Here's Trout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. In the air, left field, down the line. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And Renfro is retired. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Activity in the bullpen. Jimmy Lambert up and loosening in the pen. Santos getting cranked up as well. That one misses. Ball three. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. Out to short, Anderson. Throw is high and over his head. Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base, and usually that means the fielder just didn't. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jimmy Lambert. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Rendon off of first with two away. Swing and a miss struck him out. Angels. So digging in, Luis Robert. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. On the ground, and that's through. Their first hit of the ball game. Benintendi to the plate. The tying run at the plate. And a count one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. No, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-2. Two -two. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Otani will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Righty reliever out of the pen, Andrew Watts. He's into the game with the bases empty. Yohan Moncada with a chance to hit. Ripped on the ground a second. Now the throw to first on the run. That's out number two. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. The 1-1. One -one. That's a ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Aaron Loop preparing to come on if needed. Moore warming up as well.
Here comes a pitch. Nope, that's a ball. At this point in the game, free you ball. cannot Watch issue right. free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Stays alive. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So two down, and now Yasmani Grandal. Two outs. That's a little bit low. Good eye in that spot. Number 79 in the on deck circle. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So first and second with two outs. Now here is number 79. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Vaughn on second. Grandal at first. Two out of the inning. The next pitch misses. And the count's even at two. Two walks in the inning already. And he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Bottom of the seventh. And here is Luis Rangifo. Ball to strike. The pitch. And another ball. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And he deals. And now the count filled up three and two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. The batter number 10. Here's Gio Urshela. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And now the count is even. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. That one missed. Logan Ohapi up next for the Angels. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. This place is absolutely loving it. And that gives them a lead. It's 4-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. If bad was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. And next for L.A., Shohei Otani. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. 
Still only one out here in the inning. And that just misses. It's a good take. Next pitch misses way outside. Fights it off, you'll see another. And down on strikes he goes. Back to back strikeouts. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Back to the mound. Fires to first on the run. No oh, chance on the throw. He beats it out. Now Trout now gets a chance to hit. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Another one, two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. These guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, are you in a broadcast? Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Two-run shot for the Angels this inning. It's now. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jimmy Hergen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. You know, these White Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Got him swinging. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Next to hit, Luis Robert. Tying run at the plate. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Anderson runs. Got him swinging. Throw to second and great jump. Benatendi up here. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Anderson at second with two down. Urshela. The throw to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. The pitch. That's down and in. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. On the outside corner, two and two. Swings through it for the K. 
chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Right-handed reliever. Got it by him for the K. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Drury checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. The 2 1. Bounced out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. Did not go. Fouled off. He was late. Two two outside three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch next offering is foul back at the belt and fires the right hander gives up the two out walk Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I no guess he saw it really that. well. It's a really nice plate appearance. New pitcher for the White Sox, Ronaldo Lopez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Eight. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Carlos Estevez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Here's Aloy Jimenez. He's already homered in this game. And a pitch. Gotta count one and two. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Cold strike three of the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn. And a 1 1. And that one a little bit high. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.